Previously on McLeod's Daughters. I am delighted to announce that I accept your nomination, Jody. You will be competing for the crown of Miss Gungellen. Congratulations. <laughs> it's not working, is it? Uh, I don't uh, drink enough cappuccinos. <laughs> I talk too much. I'm really sorry. I'm sitting on you again, Shawnee. What's going on? Get out of here. Now, I've helped kids like Sean before. I'm on the register. I know you won't. If there's any trouble, Sean, those bruises are gonna look like freckles when I'm finished with you. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. Let's get Cook out of here. Sure. What do you tell the cops? About the rape? Your wife and children will find out about it? Who's gonna believe you? Hey, look, the, um, the Brumbies are back this side of the National Park. The Rangers out there today only reckons they've pushed through to you guys. Right. I'm going to go and tell Alex at Kalani. Are you guys right to coordinate it together? Yep, OK. Is that a problem, or...? No, there's no problem at all. Yeah? I'll see you at home. All right. Good morning. I'm ready. Then hop in. You must be very busy with all the Miss Gungallen preparations. You sure you got time for this? Of course I have. Jodie's my special project. Thought she was mine. Claire? No, I told Tess. She said she was going to coordinate with you. She was okay about that? She seemed to be. Why? 
no reason. Hey, Shawnee, when you finish with that, I want you to clear all the manure out of the yard and around the house as well, will you? I'm not doing that. No way. What, you prefer to be in McGill? Well, they're your options, mate, here or juvenile detention. Get that about the Brumbies, Brick? Yeah. You gonna take the chopper out? Probably, I'll just check with Parks and Wildlife first. We're going out in the chopper. Brick, is you're staying here. Oh, that's not fair. It is if I say it is, right? Get a moving, will you, Brick? Hey, Alex. Is Sean Howard working here? It's Alex's idea. Can't see it working myself. Hi, Kathy. Oh, hello, Claire. I'm really sorry about. Yep. Thank you. Who's that? Kathy Crane. Brian Crane's wife. Dalton, right? Oh, you know your China, Jody. Oh, one of the advantages of boarding school, I guess. Getting to see how the other half live. So you don't have anything like this at home? Are you kidding? <laughs> the only background my mother knows of is, is that old guy Bert. <laughs> no, it's not good to be judgmental, Jody. That's my job. <sighs> All right. Now you poor. And I'll criticize. <coughs> Cup stays on the saucer. Oh. I'm going ooh, off with Meg to see where the Brumbies got through. We've got to herd them back into the National Park. Yeah, parks are gonna to want to cull. What? You're kidding me. Well, they're a damn menace. Well, we think they're beautiful, don't we? Well, not when they mate with domestic mares and stuff on the breeding program. Claire, tell him. Oh, no, he's right. I've told you before, they stuff up breeding programs. Hello, who was on the side of the stallion last time they got out? What? Yeah, Claire rescued a Brumby stallion. No, no, he was... I never said they weren't a problem. I've got some work to do, I think I might let you girls. Slug it out. Jack had a couple of Brumbies. Saved them from a cull one year. Said he'd use them as workhorses. And did he? They were trouble. Okay. Gave Jack hell breaking them in. I think he liked the challenge. Recognised their fighting spirit. I'm just going to go check something out.
It's Tess. What the hell does she think she's doing? <laughs> she's a stupid idiot. She'll get herself killed. stupid stunt was that? Saving lives is not a stunt. Oh, you're right. I should have known, Tess. What? Oh, the fluffy fairy animal argument. You know, next you'll be wanting to give them names. That is not what this is about. I know. You know, let's have a naming ceremony. Invite all the little farm animals to come. Please do not patronise me, Alex. Excuse us. We've got work to do. You little what? I was giving them a reprieve. I'm sure Alex was thrilled. Just gonna um drive up the hill and make a few calls. Oh, you can use our phone, you're allowed. Uh, I've got quite a few long distance ones to make. I don't want to take advantage of the partnership just yet. Partnership? Business partnership. And we were talking about the Brumbies. I thought we were talking about you and Peter. And do you know what else they've got? Blue paper that doesn't scratch your bum. Oh, good. Something new for you to complain about. Just because you grew up with sandpaper, Mum, it doesn't mean I have to. Tess, can you please tell my mother that the recession is over? Tess. It's Becky's horse. It's Becky's horse. Becky? Don't know why you're bothering. She's probably just nicked off somewhere. Got jack of everyone and took off. Without a horse. Where are they, Brick? Let's move. Leaning on it won't help, Sean. Thinks you're a loser. So, yeah. Hey, Jody, you follow the track from the creek, Tess. Follow the creek itself. We checked along the fence from Kalani to the break. Well, she could have gone further than that. That's what she was doing, checking the fences. Do you think a horse could have been spooked by the Brumbies? They're in the same general area. You don't think it was me who panicked them, do you? Peter, we'll split up. You come with me. Is she OK? Is she OK? OK enough. Yeah, copy that. We better let the others know. Buddy got spooked. Was it the Brumbies? No, I saw them. I think it was a, a gunshot. The Brumby shooters, maybe. Feel up to moving? I'm going to fly to your girl and get you checked out, Becky. No, I don't need to so I can see a doctor. You certainly do. Well, can I come? No, sorry, mate. I only bring for two. I'm fine. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, hey, I can walk on my own. Hey, uh... why do it if you don't have to, huh? <laughs> Was in here. Oh, I'm just sending a few emails. 
I'll only be about half an hour or so, if that's okay. Yep. Of course it is. Take time. Uh, Peter's using the internet in the study. Yeah? Well, he's making himself at home, isn't he? Not just like Alex did when he stayed over every night for two weeks. Well, if it bothered you, you should have said something. I didn't say it bothered me. Oh, that must be Alex with Becky. Oh. Alex never used Dad's study, Claire. I'm fine. Ink proof. No broken bones. We can have a look then. Yeah, good as new. Just a bit dizzy. Um, can you tell Shawnee that I'm okay? Yeah. Hey, you want to shake up in the house tonight? No, um, the doctor said that I should go back tomorrow and get a checkup, but I thought. But you're going anyway. How about coming in for a cup of tea? I uh, really, I think all I need right now is a good night's sleep. Um, and if you guys don't mind, I might get straight to that. Sure, whatever you want. Thanks for the joyride. Well, I better be off. Hey, you're not going to come in for a bit? No, I've got too much to do. Alex. Are uh, things going okay with, with uh, Sean? Yeah. There's nothing for you to worry about. Anything. I just came to see you. I'm gonna see if I carved it. Oh no. That jerk probably wouldn't have told me if you had. A jerk, I suppose you mean Alex. Yep. How'd you get here? Walked. It's not that far. So everything's fine then? It sucks. I'd rather be in McGill. Don't say that, don't even think it. Don't suppose they're from you. Why'd I do that? That's what I figured. If you're not going anywhere tonight, you can stay here. I could do with the company. Okay, Miss Scrabble? Yeah. You have to bear with your big sister, she's not too bright. Slow down, you'll be sick. No time, I got a heap of jobs to finish because I didn't get anything done yesterday. You were throwing from your horse, it's not like you were slacking off. What time do you want me to take you in for your checkup? I don't. Bob can pick me up at the gate. Oh, well, I can at least take you that far. Ah, you're up. Yes, all right, I slept in. That's not like you. Are you sick? Is this going to go on all day? Well, I'm just worried in case you're coming down with something. Shoot her. So, um,. Uh, Guess what? I found some good alternatives to culling brumbies. Let me guess on the net. There is no alternative test. You either spend forever breaking them in or you cull them. Yes, I know, but I've been talking to these really down-to-earth people, people who've had experience working with them. What's that got to do with us? So I'll need some help. What's Jodie doing? Kalani. Pouring cups of tea. Oh. Would you even want to hear my idea? Not if it's fairyland. Is that you talking or Peter? Oh, here we go. Yeah, forget it. 
I'll guarantee I've poured more cups of tea than Liz Ryan has. Oh, oh yeah. Come to help. Something like that. You need, uh, you need horses, right? For when I go riding. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I might need a few when I get some stockmen. Exactly. So why pay for them when there were horses going begging in the National Park? Thanks. You wouldn't happen to be talking about the Brumbies, would you? They're beautiful horses and they're useful too once they're trained for riding. Which, of course, I'll be doing, yeah? No, listen, I found someone on the net who trains them. In Montana? Uh-uh, just outside of Adelaide. <laughs> Look, Nick, I know I can't save them all, but even just a few, then... Look, Tess, I know Brumbies can be broken in, but they need a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort. We don't have any time. They're being killed already. I'm not taking on wild horses without a good reason. I bet you've never even read The Man from Snowy River. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, back towards me, one, two, oh, oh, oh. I'm ah. sorry. No worries, it's not the good Italian prayer, thank goodness. Um, <laughs> look, it's no good, Mrs. Ryan, I only know how to lead. I was the tallest at boarding school, okay? I was always the boy partner. Oh, we have to find you someone taller than... Uh, Nick, have you got a minute? Not really, Mum. Better go and have a word to Alex. Well, he can wait. I want you to waltz with Jodie. Oh, uh, Nick, you really don't have to. Yes, he does. When Jodie wins the Miss Gungellan quest, it'll be because she learnt to waltz with you. Love to. You know what to do. Okay. Just try and relax, because I won't bite you. Okay? And you might when I step on your feet, Nick. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh, sorry. Now, you've got to let the man lead, okay? That's how you guys need it. I'm sorry, it's a guy thing, then, is it? I'm afraid so. I forgive you. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, get away. What? So she got to you too, did Look, she? Do you want a couple or not? Oh, yeah, Nick, for dog food, mate. Do you want to think about it before That's you That's a stupid it a idea, mate. Those horses will be more trouble than they're worth. I mean, if you fall for that sort of bull, you're as stupid as she is. And if you don't even think about it, then you're as one eyed oh, as you said you are. Is that right? So now you're the messenger boy, is that he it? He won't deck him. They just yell at each other sometimes. Huh? Is that it? Forget about it. Yeah, go on, drive off, mate. See? Told you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drive off. What's the matter with him? I would have punched him right out. Sure. I would have. I would have told him what a wally he is, and then I would have punched him. Clean out that trough yet, Shorty? It's clean enough. Wuss. What did you say? I called you a big wuss. Well, you want to have a go then, mate? Yeah, right. Yeah, okay, I'll have a go. Come on, then. <sighs> Come here, mate, I'm sorry. race memory. These are your cousins I'm trying to save. There was movement at the station for the word had got around that the cult from old regret had got away. Are we gonna go and catch some brumbies or not? <laughs> it's 
enough for today? Good boy. He'll do. <laughs> you ever think about playing poker? Yeah, I did actually. With Dad. Always complained he couldn't read me. Yeah, well, I think that's a fair enough complaint, really. <laughs> he was worse. Dad could be sitting there with four aces, and he'd still look as though he's sitting there with a pair of twos. So, uh, so who'd win? Yeah, Dad, of course. I was beginning to catch up. But, uh, yeah, it didn't happen. You miss him, don't you? It gets easier. He would have liked you. Hey! What do you think you're doing? What's it look like I'm doing? I'm racking off. You can't. It's not your boy. No, I don't care. You're just going to make things worse. Not for me. I've had enough of this dump. Alex can stick it. I'm going home. Drop you into Gungallon. Oh, no, Bob won't mind taking me in. It's a useless checkup anyway. What are they going to find out? I'm not already dead? <laughs> yeah, probably better. I don't take the time off. Given that we're short. Jody over at the Ryan's again. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad Liz is taking an interest. <laughs> Jody's learning all sorts of useful things. Yeah, like how to be stuck up. I didn't say that. Let's face it, Liz Ryan's stuck up. I mean, the woman's so stuck up, she doesn't even like me. <laughs> yeah, I know, hard to credit. Oh! Shouldn't we move him out into the paddock? No, I'll just get out of the paddock, keep him here until they settle down a bit. Right. At least that's what it said on the website. <laughs> Good condition. No, I'm not. I'm exhausted. Well, come up to the house, have a drink. Here we go. Lost, are you? Come to pick up the post hole digger, actually. Ooh. Sure you did. The one thing to say to you, Nick, there's one born every minute, mate. Why don't you admit it? They're beautiful. I'll admit you've done a good job of rounding them up. Thanks. I think you should call that one Blossom. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping you are going to get rained in. Could still happen. Yeah, but failing a sudden deluge, I think I can come up with a... A business reason to be back real soon. <laughs> and if you can't, I'll come down to Adelaide. I'd love you to. In fact, I reckon I could swing it for next weekend. Sounds good to me. Oh, no. Mm. No. I've got to be in Brisbane that weekend. Doesn't matter. Another time. Yeah. I hope so. Well... You better go before I get all mushy.
Vicky. Hi, Mrs. Cronin. How are you, Becky? I'm fine. I'm sorry about Brian. Thank you. It looks like you could use a lift. Oh, I'll be right. Bob should be here any second. Oh, yeah? In Bob's time or real time? Yeah. I'm, um... I'm running late anyway. Well, he could be ours. Why don't you hop in? It's a nice day for standing around. Thing is, Becky... We need to talk. Well, I need to talk. You want it, Austin. You're always looking for it. Can't you at least give me that? You don't get it. We've moved. Did you know? Yeah, I have. Barano. Well, we couldn't really stay. It's too difficult. Yeah. Not just for me, but I think for everyone. It's hard. Yeah. I was a reminder. Of course. They know in Bunaroo too, but they don't know me. So they don't have to feel bad about not wanting to speak to me. You and Brian. Was it just the once? That he did what he did? Yeah. It was just the once, wasn't it? See, I trusted him. Not a bad thing. It's part of the contract. I understand. I trusted him too. You weren't married to him for 25 years, though, were you? Sometimes making sense of your own life. How are you supposed to make sense of someone else's? Because you can't. You can't make sense of something that doesn't fit. You just can't. Kathy, can you please slow down? What for? I want to get out. 25 years living in that same town, building up a life. It's a good life. And in a single day, it's just taken away, and I can never get that back. Do you, do you have any idea what that actually feels like? Yes, I guess I do. I'm an outcast. You have made me an outcast. You took a shot at me. No, no, no. I wouldn't do that. No one there. Just get 
gonna go. Dude, I... Shut up about that. We gotta help Becky. What's happening? Mrs. Cronin picked her up. She was driving real weird. Are you sure it was Mrs. Cronin? Uh, yeah, well to make it up. Well, get on. You couldn't help what Brian did. I should have said something. I could have at least done that. Please, Kathy, listen to me. You want to know. I did know. But it, it, it's not your fault Brian did it. I could have said something. I just can't. I can't bear the guilt. I'm guilty too. Oh. I didn't say anything and... And I was scared and he got to kill me. Sometimes the truth is hard and... Beck okay? Yeah, she seems to be. Penny for your thoughts. Peter's perfect, isn't he? Never thought I'd hear you say that about a man. Yeah, well... I've never felt like this before. He's the one, Tess. I'm absolutely sure of it. That's great, Claire. So, Shawnee. What I heard was you only took the bike because you knew Kathy Cronin had got Becky. And taking the bike was the only way to look after your sister. Is that what happened? Not exactly. It's close enough. I think we could both do with a cold drink, mate. Oh, beauty. We're at the top off a coldie. Settle down, soldier. <laughs> Mum's got you a cola. Here we go. Sounds like we missed some excitement, Mum. Yes, on the other hand, there's something to be said for a dull life. Oh, and by the way, darling, now, I don't know who they were for, but next time you hack into one of my flower beds, ask me first. It wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me, Mum. Yeah. Yeah, I hope she enjoyed them, mate. Hey? <laughs> Mum, do we have any napkin rings? Yes, the sideboard with the finger bowls. Very funny. Did I tell you he was the best dancer? Oh, so it's Nick now, is it? Someone must really like you. I thought they were from you guys.
Walk to walk. 